girl of Minecraft. Welcome to some more of my Create Stellar modded series. Alright, so in the last part we had a bit of a tragedy with I lost my backpack, had all my good stuff in it. But um we're moving on from that. <laughs> Obviously, because I'm I'm still bringing it up. Uh <laughs> no. Anyways. I wanted to do some stuff in this part relating to the next part of this quest line here. Uh, to do storage drawers. So we'll be making some storage drawers and we'll get some upgrades as a result. And then we'll get, um, oh sorry, it wants us to do this storage upgrade. And then it'll give us some of the four times base value upgrade. Uh, oh, and I also had a reward from this that I hadn't grabbed, so I went ahead and got that. So it's a, a foundry lid. Oh, it goes on the blaze thing. It's for melting. Yeah. Pour it in there, and it does a thing. Hmm. So I guess maybe this operates, uh, you can input liquids through there. Okay. Fluid pipe, mechanical pump. Yep, okay, so that pumps stuff in. And then that's a tank to hold the things. Okay, interesting. But yeah, that's what I got, and I stuck it in my chest here with all my other things. So yeah, I have one of those. Alright, so. Ma, I'm gonna make some storage drawers. I think we need a an oak drawer or any drawer, honestly. I think. Oh, well, actually, does it have to be an oak drawer? It may have to. Okay, so I guess I'll make an oak drawer. Drawer. All right. So it is a chest and six planks of oak. I don't have any on me, so I guess I'll grab some here. And there's a chest here that I can use. Let's see if that'll be enough. Perfect. Okay. So we have that. Now we can redeem our upgrade templates. And then it wants us to make a... What? That's a regular... Okay. Upgrade. Let's see here. I think it's just storage drawers, right? Let's go back to here. Storage drawer. So this is the base one. It's made with obsidian and upgrade template and then six sticks. <laughs> six sticks. Six sticks, six sticks. Six. <laughs> we can actually use crying obsidian, so I will use that. And I have some sticks on me. Okay, this, and ta-da! Okay, so then we get the increased one. I think that's made from iron, yeah, iron. And then of course the next one is gold, and then diamond. And then you have uh, emerald, 30 ti 32 times base value. <laughs> so basically 32 stacks. Uh, and then you have a... Oh yeah, this one reduces it, down, downgrades it back to one using flint. And then you have a void upgrade. So basically anything put into here, well, anything put into here uh, with over the limit basically just gets deleted. And then this one is a near infinite storage, which is really cool. We'll have to get to that eventually. Creative mechanism. You need a concealment key. Show or hide item labels. Oh, a bunch of those, and then a bunch of diamond ones. That's awesome. Unlimited item withdrawal. What? How do you... Oh, it's creative. I was gonna say. Oh. Wait, it says these are creative. So, like, are these impossible to make? A drawer key. They seem craftable. Quantity... Or hide item labels. Locks and unlocks drawer. I assume that's for like multiplayer. 
A conversion upgrade auto converts compatible items. Okay. Um, and then a redstone emits signal for total storage. And then emits signal for at least full slot. And for most full slot. And then you have illuminates drawer labels in the dark. That's kind of cool. I might actually have to do that one. It's just glowstone dust. And then this one shows how full it is. I think there's like a, a bar that it shows on it. For oh, Actually across the bottom. It shows the fill level. And then this is just a basic upgrade template. Yeah, but we can make all kinds of ones. And then there's this one. Compact stuff. This is the drawer controller and then a drawer controller slave. I don't remember how that works exactly. I just remember this connects to adjacent drawer drawers. So if you put stuff into this drawer controller, you will it'll automatically just sort it into whatever storage drawer um, is near that has that item already in it. Okay, let's see. Now is there Storage. Is there perhaps a guidebook for storage drawers in here or yeah, it's looking like nah. <laughs> At storage drawer. Right, I'll keep that up. And I think I'm gonna make some of these. So this one, it's just a drawer, right? Yeah, so I don't need anything fancy. So then we need five stone and two redstone re comparators. And a diamond. Do I have one of those? I might have. Uh, no, it's a repeater and a randomizer. Okay, I, I had. I thought I knew I had something, but um, I was sorry. I don't have much space in this barrel anymore. <laughs> I'm like running out of places to put things. Let's put this in here. Okay, so we have some upgrades. This one is just a times two upgrade. I might just upgrade it. Can I use it for anything? Can I use it in an upgrade or is it just... Yeah, that one's kind of a waste of materials. I would never do it just a times two base upgrade. That's kind of a waste. I would always go for something bigger. Go for like the biggest that I can. Um, all right. I think I'll use a couple of... No, not the iron chest. I'll use that for something else. Yeah, I want to make a bunch of these. I don't know what color I want to do them in. I like to do the dark oak because it contrasts nicely with like blocks. Do I have much dark oak? No, I don't have any actually. Hmm. Do I have a dark oak forest that I found? I thought I did. I don't think I'd found a forest. I guess not because that looks like a taiga. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, well, we did, wait, did I have saplings, maybe? I have a sapling, but there's only one. That's not very useful to me. Can I make them out of something? Wood essence, nature essence. What is that? Nature seeds. Seed reprocessor. Oops, I double clicked for some reason. Photogenic insulator oh that's kind of neat oh phytogenic <laughs> if you put a sapling in there and it gives you another sapling and logs huh so let's see automated yeah that crafts it wood essence make out of wood seeds wood seeds are made out of prosperity invernium and logs does it matter what you put in there because if you put in these does it give you a specific output I think it's just wood essence and that you can make into pretty much any saplings depending on where you place it Ooh, oh, we could get mangrove without finding a mangrove oh this is actually dope okay I need to look into this nature seeds are prudentium and Prosperity and then nature agglomerado. Agglomerado? Jeez. Okay, that's doable. Okay, this is actually super doable. Okay, so we can make dark oak stuff. Because I want to make dark oak stor storage drawers. Because I'm going to need a seed reprocessor. 
All right, let's do that. Seed reprocessor. Okay, just want to have that up so I can reaccess it. All right, we got iron. Oh no, what is this? Solium. Okay, we might be running into a bit of an issue here. Solium. Okay, this is just an ore from the nether, right? Solium ore. Crafting, solium block. Okay, so we just need solium, which I assume is something you find in the nether. So we may just need to... Wait, I think I have some of that. Hold on, I think I got some when I was in the nether, unless I lost it. Let me check. Hold on, let me sleep first and then... I want to check because I know I picked up some solium. Wait, I know I did. Solium. Yeah, we got it. Okay, we're good. We're good. So I'm going to need two of these, which is made with prosperity and then two. Uh, do I have any prosperity ingots on hand? Prosperity shards. Uh, I combine this with iron, right? Did I hear a villager? I thought I heard like a wandering trader villager or something. Anyways, <laughs> get rid of those guys roaming around. Is there anyone else? Okay, anyways, what was I doing? I was making prosperity ingots. Yes, so iron and then four of those. Okay, so I need iron and then let's make... How many did I need? Two. Okay, and then I need this, two of those, all right, and then I need machine frame, which is stone, four iron, and four redstone. Oh, I need to make two hoes as well. Um, shoot, I already forgot what I was doing redstone, and then a piece of stone. I think I can just use soapstone, right? Yeah, okay. And then two of these. Do I already have any hoes? Let me check. I have one here for my farm. Um... Just need sticks. And then iron. <laughs> I put the iron away because I thought I was done with it. Okay, seed reprocessor. Now, does this require any power? It does. Maybe I can fuel it with, uh, can I just like fuel it with some other, with like a fuel source or do I need a machine to power it? I don't know where, where I want to put this. Let's see. Let's put it. Okay. I'm going to move all this stuff eventually. So let's see. I'm going to put it over here. Okay. So we're going to need F E. Do I have anything for power? Wait, can I use my windmill for power? Ooh, yeah, actually, we actually have solar panels. That's sick. I'm curious. Do we have solar panels from, like, the other mod? This might be complicated to make. Dish. Steel. Steel's the one I've been trying to work on. How in the world do you even make dish? What is dash? Raw dash. Moon dash. Ah, might be something from the moon, which we're not there yet, so. Okay, 
I'm going to look into powering this real quick. I'll be right back. Okay. So, I did some reading and I figured out there is an item called an alternator, which transfers the power into FE. Yep, so it generates FE. So, that's how we're going to get power to power this seed uh, machine. I already forgot what it's called. Reprocessor? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, lagged a little bit. But yeah, so we're going to... I think I'm going to try using my windmill and see how much I can generate. I'm going to probably need a lot more power, though, for the alternator. So, we may just end up making, like, a whole bunch of windmills or something to power. But yeah. Okay, so we need to make an alternator. Let's see if I can make this. Alright, tough. Iron plates. Iron rod. Um, copper spools. How do these work? Empty spool. It's iron sheets and iron nuggets. Okay, and then you need copper wire. Which you put through a rolling mill. Copper plates. Okay, how do we make a rolling mill? Alright, let's make one of these. So we're gonna need tough alloy, um, iron plates, shaft, casing, and a basic mechanism. Alright, let's just grab a bunch of different stuff. I don't know if I have any casings already made. Casing. No, and I don't have that machine already made, so. Um, okay, so I'd, I might need some of these. I might need some of these. I'll definitely need shafts. And let's just put that away. Oops. Okay, and then was there something else in here that I wanted? No. Okay. How do I make casings again? I already forgot. Oh, no. I want this. And then this. And then casings. Um onto a stripped log, I think. So we'll use some spruce because we have like a ton of this. Oh wait, let me get my tough first. The uh, Lashana is going down, so I'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, Do I have any sheets already? Oh, I have some copper sheets, that's good. Okay, let's grab some copper. We're gonna need more iron. Uh, let's get like a few of these. Oops. What did I just do? Take that back. Did I have iron in here already? I do. I thought I had extra iron. Nice. Because I had gone mining uh, off camera and I would gotten a bunch. Alright, let's just make a bunch of these. Oops. <laughs> I didn't want more mushrooms. No more shroomies. Alright, let's just strip all of these. And then mine them. Oh, that was sick. Oh, shoot. Uh, for some reason I thought it was about to like chop that tree. Okay, so... Oh, I don't know why I picked those up. I actually want them down. Alright, and then tough alloy. Perfect. Just make a bunch of casings. Pop, 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 pop. And we'll sleep really quick so the more, no more of those blizzes will spawn. Hopefully. <laughs> Alright. There we go. Did I ever make food? Okay, I have a little bit of food on me. We're good. I was a little worried for a second that I hadn't gotten any food. Alright, so. Um, iron sheets. Okay, we'll make a few of those. Let's do like... Let's do like ten of them. I don't know why I haven't moved this over here. Might as well do that. Uh, actually, nah. I'll just let this thing work at it slowly. Eventually I'll upgrade that. <laughs> I'm still kind of working on it. There's just so many things going on. Sometimes I get sidetracked and end up leaving a project behind. Alright, we got shafts. We got tough alloy. We need base, basic mechanisms. Oh my god, my brain is just exploding. Um, 
Alright, that, that. Okay, so we need the plates and then we need this, which I can make perfect. Hello? Did it not make it? Okay. Oh, that's weird. Now I can't open my backpack. What is happening right now? Why are we glitching out? Oh, shit. Oh. There we go. Oh, my God. Wait, what just happened? That. There we go. Wow. That was, like, super delayed. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So we need that, that. Uh, yep, all we need are the two iron plates. Wish I could just grab just those, but I couldn't. Alright, I'm gonna let it make those, so, okay. Now, should be able to make one of these. And then, so how does this work? Okay, so we need to drop items into it. Or can I place, maybe? Can I place items into the mill? <laughs> A belt and two funnels. Okay, so yeah, the items funnel in. Gotcha. Okay. So, let me see about... I need to make some small wheels. Bear with me because I am a noob, but let's see here. That's clearly not working. What did I. I did I mess this up with like something? I need a. Where's my. My thingaling? It's over here somewhere. My wrench. That, yes. There's, is there a block up there still? I don't think so. Alright, so... Where did the block go anyway? Oh, it's up there. It just was stuck. Okay. And actually, let's make. Okay, so this, this turns it off, right? I forget how this works. Let me turn. Let me put on my goggles as well. Okay, so I figured out what I was doing wrong. I figured out what I was doing wrong. So my it's actually a vertical powered. So that's why, because uh, the thing was at the bottom and not the side. And for some reason, I thought it was on the side. I don't know. Maybe I. Had, I thought I'd used it before and it was on the side, but here we are. All right, so I'm actually gonna grab that. Can I do that with this? Okay, no, I'm gonna do this. I think I can put this back. Maybe? Yeah, I think I can put that back. So I don't need, I don't need that other block there. Oops. Oh shit. <laughs> Okay, this axe is like way OP and it's actually making it harder to play sometimes. Let me just do that. Alright. Did I pick it up? I don't know if I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, here it is. Uh, I think... There we go. We're good. Alright, I just wanted to place it on this side. Okay, so now we have a thing. Wait, how do I make the bigger ones again? Oh, it's just a block, okay. I wanna make another... Let's 
kind of a mess, but uh, let's see. Let's see if I can do like one in the corner. Might be too fast? I don't know. It's actually slower, I think. Okay, what if I like put it on the smaller one? Okay, that yeah, that got connected to that. So what if I do like that? And then I do this. Let me move this now. <laughs> and then let's put a piece of copper. Let's do, just do a bunch of copper. See how fast. Oh my god, look how fast. That's much better. That's that's like the speed that I wanted. <laughs> so now we just need like conveyor belts and stuff. That's awesome. It's making 448, uh, yeah, 448SU. And I already made all those into plates. I'm just gonna make some more. So now we're getting some decent power. It's kind of, kind of a crazy setup here, but, uh, I could probably make it slightly better. Uh, if I made, like, a bunch more windmills and maybe make them bigger, too. We can easily get some, like, really good power going. Okay, and then I'm going to dump that in there for a second. Because I don't need all this stuff on me at the moment. Uh, alright. Let's just kind of stick all this in here. So, we needed this thing to make the wire. Alright, so we need copper plates, and then it makes wire. So let's try, um, let's see, is there a way to transfer some of this power? So can I do... Is that gonna work? just want it to be lower down so that makes things okay so let's do just this really quick so can I actually like drop stuff in or do I have to like place it okay that actually worked where did it go Okay, I right-clicked it and got it out. So I actually might make some of those, like, what are they called? Oops. Those, uh, let's see. I want to go to the next page. Uh, oh wait, no, I wanted to ponder this. What is this called? A rolling mill? Yeah, yeah, this is the one. So they used a th something, what are they called? Funnels. Okay, so funnels. So, yeah, 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 we'll make funnels, because I think this will be easier if it's automated right away. So let's do that. I heard a wandering trader. Here he is. Hello. What do you sell? Skyris, a bazaar. Interesting. I actually might grab that. That's only 15. Dark forest. Ooh intriguing uh okay compass 15 emeralds tempting all right let's let's quickly trade with him i don't think i have any compasses on hand no uh what am i doing with my life uh yeah i need redstone and then some emeralds I want to do more exploration. Oh, really? Don't tell me you despawned. No way. Wait, is that him over here? Yeah. I think that's him. Come here, you. 
And then we'll find the dark forest as well. I think you just put that in uh, maybe a map. Can be used to find the biome inscribed. Trade it for trade for it from cartographers or wandering traders. Oh, interesting. I think you just need like a piece of map or a piece of paper. Well, I'm curious now, so let me just go on a slight rabbit trail. Uh, do they have paper already? Yeah. So if I do one of these and then I make a map. Will that work? Or do I need to do it on a cartographer table? I don't know. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah, I had another one, Ancient Mines, I had found as well. Or no, I had traded for that. Um, I'm going to actually grab... Empty, right? I'm going to grab one of these to put my stuff into because I should be putting my wrench in here. I'll be, that way I'm not like having as hard of a time to find it. And then also, isn't there a way that's like a hotkey? R? Nope, that's not right. R. Uh, yeah, I'll have to probably re- uh, Really, what are you doing in there? Are you trying to become copper wire as well? That's not how that works. <laughs> you guys, you could be anywhere around here, but you have chosen to be in the middle of my setup. <laughs> Jeez, alright, well. What were we doing? We were making cured rubber, that's right. So I needed a bucket of water and then some logs. I already had some on me, but whatever. Do we have any buckets of water already? I do have some. Here we go. Alright, let's see if this works. Alright, we got rubber. And then to cure it, you put it in a furnace. This one still has some coal, so we'll use that one. Just grab all this stone while I'm here, I guess. Stick it in here. Put that it back in my backpack. Okay. So we need maybe two of these. Start out with two. Uh basic mechanism. Alright, so we'll make that. Do I have enough of those? Uh nope. Do I make the cogwheels just from this? Yeah. Alright, let's just make a couple of those. And then the shafts are easy, I think, yeah. Easy peasy. And then these ones. That's what I wanted, not the other one. And then we just make some of these. Oh, I ran out of tough alloy. Tough alloy. How do I make this again? Oh, it's ingots or nuggets and tough. Been a while since I played this save, so. I'm trying to remember all the recipes for everything. There's so much freaking modded, man. They have to, they just had to be extra. <laughs> Alright, I do have some nuggets, but let me just grab the rest of what I have. Because everything requires this alloy, so may as well just make a bunch. Okay, doke. Alright, now where were we? These, let's make one of them, and then let's make another one. But first I need some of these. Then, the final product. Alright, now, how do you make belts? Let's see. Belt. Um, is it this? Oh, we're gonna need more rubber, I guess. Sweet. Mm-hmm. Okay. And then you need shafts. Are there cogwheels on those shafts? 
just re replay that. Hold on. So yeah, you put two shafts and you put rubber on them, connect them. Or you, yeah, you put the belt, connect them together. Okay. You can add more throughout the belt. Right, okay. You can identify them with different colors and they have to be straight across, yeah. Uh, Okay, that's just decoration. So we're going to need a whole lot more rubber. Alright, so I had... It didn't actually use the bucket. That's interesting. Just make a bunch more. Yeah, it's weird. <laughs> it didn't even use the bucket. Nice. Uh, coal for this. Eventually, I'd like to have some powered furnaces. But, uh, you know, that's all... All in good time, all in good time. So we're gonna need a lot more of this. Alright, so three of those makes a belt. I don't know... I guess you'll need one piece to make a belt of any size. Also, I have vines here. I don't know if those matter for like what I, the crafting recipe, but... Could always use those vines. Break those and let them regrow. Okay, so we need shafts and then let me just make a couple more of those. We need lots of those. Alright, so let's try and make this now. So, okay, I am actually curious. I need to maybe watch this one. Okay, so you can just use chests. I was wondering if, like, they can pull from any chest or if it has to be a specific type of chest. I might use something like that as well to drop it into the machine. Because I don't... Th no, 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 I can. Okay. Alright, so we're going to have to change this setup a little bit, I think. So... Because I, I would like it to be nearby. Okay, maybe. Can you guys move your fat asses out of my way? Jeez. Okay, I just don't want to break the wheels by accident. I'm just going to move this over. So, I'm going to make... Oh, I do need to power the belt as well to make it move so can i possibly do one of these and then say we put Put these sideways like the big ones or is that just a big wheel thing? Yeah, it's just a big wheel thing. <laughs> You're just standing on that shaft? Nice. Oh jeez, did he just disappear? What the fuck? Hello? He just got ground. Alright, so I'm gonna need another belt. Let me just place a placeholder piece right here and then a shaft. 
So then I need to power... Oh, jeez, hello. Can you guys not... For once... Okay, that is not going in the right direction. So if I do one more, I think it should do it right. Right? So that's going in the same direction. But does it matter if they're different speeds? Because it looks like it's... No, it might be the same speed. Okay, now let's test this. You're in the way. There we go. Go away. Alright, so we have a belt. Now. Now, I'm going to delete that. So, I can put this here, right? It's going the wrong direction. Change. Can I change the direction? Alright, let me do a thing. So I put you here. Okay, so those are going that way now. Pulling. So it's going through left to right, I believe, yeah. Alright. And now the conveyor is going left to right. Oh my god, we're making machines, guys. We're making machines. We're doing it. This video is extremely long now. Uh, I don't think it matters how these are set up. Okay, and then in the video, or yeah, in the little diagram it just had like example blocks and then move you over here now this blocks just getting shifted around <laughs> okay and then we use two chests so let's put that and that um and then we still need something to drop the blocks in so i'm actually gonna need another one of those things uh drop I forget what it's called. What are these called again? A funnel. Funnel. I need more casings, I think. Alright, let's just go sleep. I'll have to deal with those raiders in the morning. Yep. Alright, let me just drink some milk. Thanks for the crossbow, dude. Let's go reload my milk bucket. Just always have a milk bucket on hand. <laughs> oh, hello. Got another unwanted visitor. My dog's going crazy. Alright. Aw, oh, they're all cold. Poor doggos. Alright, anyways, back to this project. So, let's... Oh, wait, no, we don't need something to drop it in the top. What am I... What even am I saying? Alright, so... That does not appear to be working. Right, you need a funnel to pull it out and to funnel to put it in. Okay, so we need two funnels anyway. Alright, I was on the right track. I just had the wrong idea. <laughs> okay, let me get some logs. Alright. 
keep using my crafting thing here. Another one of those, and then another one of these. What am I missing? Another wheel. Okay, so now that should that should work. That should be automatic copper wire. Oh my god, look at that. That's awesome. So is it taking one and making two wire? Okay. Ten. Ten wire. Alright, now what were we making? <laughs> All that to make one item. Uh, we needed a copper spool. Oh, we're gonna need the- not those, but we're gonna need connectors, I think. Alternator. Alright, so that to make- uh, we're also gonna need a mechanical crafter for this, which is gonna be another 10,000 steps, and I think I'll have to do that in the next part. Okay, so we made that. Now we need to make the spool. We're gonna need iron plates, so I'm gonna have to set up my mechanical press again. And I think, I don't know if I want to use the same windmill or if I want to use it the other side of the windmill. But yeah, so far we made a rolling mill that's automated, sort of, <laughs> semi-automated. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of a long one. I may edit it down, sort of, but I've recorded almost an hour now, so i uh, hope you enjoyed and uh, maybe you learned something too i don't know i'm learning a ton this mod is so in-depth this is like just a tiny little bit of this mod there's so much crazy cool stuff you can do but yeah we got a little bit of a we got a rolling mill which we can do some cool stuff with and we're working towards getting an alternator to make fe so that i can power this to make seeds from mystical agriculture and then with that, I'm going to be able to make any sapling for any tree that I want without having to go find it. Which is my ideal, because <laughs> I don't feel like exploring the whole map just for one type of tree. Alright, I'll see you guys later, and yeah, bye!